to the 2014 hit South Park The Stick of Truth is finally here with Ubisoft's South Park The Fractured But Whole. And I think it's safe to say South Park fans have been waiting for this for quite some time and it's finally here. But does this game actually live up to the show's legacy, or is it even comparable to the first game? Hey guys, my name is Elijah, and today on Rocket Sloth, we are taking a look at South Park The Fractured But Whole. Is the game worth the value? Should you spend $60 on it? Today, we're going to find out. Let's get into it. Game development was very up in the air at the time of the release of Stick of Truth, and South Park co-creators to make a sequel, but it was pretty much depending on how the Stick of Truth did in sales and reviews. Fortunately enough for them, the hard work they put into translating the humor of their show into a video game really paid off, and Ubisoft greenlit development on the next South Park game. The creators originally wanted to call the game South Park The Butthole of Time, but retailers were not willing to sign on to sell the game because of the indecent title. And I mean, can you really blame the retailers? Like, I wouldn't want my business to be associated with the word butthole. But fortunately for us, they were able to rethink a better name. Instead, the co-creators decided to go with South Park The Fractured But Whole, and while the name is still punny, I actually believe it's a better representation as to what the game is outside of having just a comedic title, especially considering the story. Taking place just a few years after the events of The Stick of Truth, the children begin a new adventure taking on the roles of superheroes. To further this plot, The Fractured But Whole plays an overall parody of a lot of superheroes hero movies that have been released in the last few years, especially the Civil War type movies like Captain America Civil War or Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Essentially heroes who are at odds and fight against each other. It's funny because so many movies are doing this nowadays that you don't really realize it, but South Park does a great job of underlying how ridiculous it is that this same plot's been being used over and over and over again. Hence the name, The Fractured, but whole. The gameplay is similar to what you would find in The Stick of Truth, as the gameplay is similar to what you would find in a JRPG. But let's be honest, players are not picking up this game for the gameplay as much as the story and the IP that is associated with it. The gameplay is solid, don't get me wrong, but the best part about the game is getting to explore South Park and experience the hilarious dialogue in the game, and really feel like you are in an episode or a movie of South Park. The writers did an amazing job at interpreting the same type of comedy that you would find in the show into the game, and it's just so much fun to get to experience that. If you aren't a fan of South Park, some of the jokes obviously won't hit you the same way as someone who is a huge fan of South Park. But then again, if you don't like South Park, why would you even pick up this game? This game is definitely something that was made with the fans in mind, and I am truly impressed with how well this game translated. The gameplay is simple enough to get into, and varies between battles and walking around and looking and interacting with things. And if the game was stripped down from its comedic story, it wouldn't be anything special, but I'm actually glad the gameplay wasn't too complex like other RPG games that would distract from the hilarious story and environment. And this game is long, much longer than The Stick of Truth, which is really nice considering the $60 price tag. Since it's an RPG, it's hard to estimate how long it will take you to play through it, but let's just say it will take you definitely more than 15 hours, but less than 35 hours. As always, there is a character creation mode which now lets you play as a female, but your race of your character also defines the difficulty in some elements of the game. It's a unique mechanic, but it's really not surprising for something out of South Park. Honestly, if you're unsure whether or not this game is a good fit for you, just ask yourself if you enjoy the TV show South Park. You could wait for an inevitable sale too to get a better value, but chances are if you're watching this, you probably really just want this game, and treat yourself to it. It will pay off. If you're a very, very casual viewer, as in you've seen an episode of South Park once every other year or something like that, you actually might still find some really good gameplay and comedy out of this, and maybe this is what you need as a doorway to get into South Park, but definitely at least have seen a few episodes of South Park before you're about to drop $60 on this game. 
As far as the season pass goes, I would suggest playing through the entire game first to make sure it's for you before you invest more money on content that won't be released until sometime next year. The DLC I'm sure will be good, but just wait it out until it's a little closer and use that money on some of the newer games that are coming out this holiday season. And that's all for today's video. There's a ton of games coming out this holiday season and I plan on hopefully sitting 